Today, we're reviewing the Ulan Z54 tripod. Now, this is a $50 premium tripod that has amazing features in design, and most importantly, it can go really high up. How high? All the way up to 55 cm, which is almost the same height as me. If you are looking for a tripod that can really go down that small and also fit into your bag, this might be it. There are a few features of this tripod which sets it apart from other tripods that are out there. Number one, it is one push button. If you can see right at the bottom over here, there's this button which I can just press and the whole thing opens up. Now it's so easy and I've not seen this in other tripods. Next is that it comes with a very premium mobile phone holder. Now this is the one which you guys saw from the SK04 tripod and it feels kind of like a plasticky. This is the one that comes with the MT54. Feels a lot more premium. Okay, and I'm not against it. You guys can hear and see that this is made of a higher quality material. Now let's mount it and see how it looks. So once we mount it up, you can obviously see that it's in portrait mode. And once I turn it at the back, you can adjust it either left or right. This one of course supports other bigger mobile phones, which I think offers so much more versatility compared to other standard phone holders. Needless to say, moving on to our third point is that this is a very long selfie stick, probably the longest. Now here is my Sony ZV-1 with the cage. I've recently done a video on it. It's really quite a really good cage for it. Okay, not a cage, it's just more of like a plate. All right, let's see how long this selfie stick can work. Okay, so what I have to do is just open it up here this way and you can actually tilt it downwards over here. So for a start, this is the shortest length. And this is the longest length. Now with a tripod or selfie stick that is this long, I don't think you will ever need a wide angle lens. This literally captures everything. The only challenge is the hang on my, the strength that I left, left on my hand. It can be quite tiring holding this for a long time. All right, now that I've got your attention on what this tripod can do, let's head back to Home Studio to talk about some of its specifications and do an unboxing of what it comes with in its retail package. Now that we're back, I actually put it back in its original retail package. But before we do an unboxing, why did I actually got this in the very first place? Well, you guys know that I like my MT54 and it actually is very convenient and I use it all the time. But it does have a constraint. It can only go up to my chest level and not anything higher. The MT54 does go significantly higher than my MT44. I also recently discovered that the MT44 isn't friendly with bigger cameras such as my A6400. If I were to put some pressure on it or had a heavier lens, it will actually sink down a little. Something which I observe when I tend to extend it to its fullest height. Now that I got my grandma story out of the way, let's do a quick 30 second unboxing to see what this thing comes with in its retail package. Okay, it comes in this very nice tray and here we have the menu the mobile phone holder and of course the tripod itself so this is what you get in this retail package all right let's move all of this aside and talk a little bit more about its specifications starting with its length it measures about 34 cm or about 33.3 inches when fully extended it measures about 155 cm or about 61 inches in terms of its weight it measures about 573 grams or about 1.26 pounds. The material itself, you can hear. You can hear that it's made out of a very high quality aluminum alloy and it really feels like a tank, like a Leopard or M1 Abrams or even something you can use as a self-defense. Let's not neglect the phone holder that it comes with. It's made out of the exact same material as the tripod itself. You can see up close, it's of the same quality. How does it open is quite interesting. You can pull this and turn it and mount your phone over here. But in case you guys are wondering how it looks with a phone mounted, all right, it'll look something like this. So in case you guys are curious how wide this thing can go, it starts from 5.5 cm and can go all the way up to about 8.5 cm, slightly more than the width of even the new iPhone 15. So how much does this whole tripod cost? It costs about 49 USD. Now let's talk a little bit more about the pros and cons. At the beginning, you hear a lot about highlights and the good stuff about this tripod. So let's talk about its cons first. Number one, it's weak at the top. Once we have it extended, you guys can see that it actually gets skinnier right at the top. 
the top portion here is much thinner than the one that is over here which means that the higher you go the more flimsy or more prone to movement it is if you are planning to mount cameras on top of it such as your Sony ZV-1 or A6400 or even full frame cameras, I would suggest for you not to do so extending it all the way up. You are more prone to accidents happening because of how thin the upper part of the tripod is. Number two is obviously its weight. Now it weighs quite a bit more heavier than my MT44. My MT44 comes in at about 350 grams while this comes in at about 573 grams. You can really feel a weight difference between these two. But the weight does come as a double-edged sword. Being heavier, it does give you more better grounding. But if your priority is keeping things light, then this will be a deterring factor. Next is lack of a tripod head. If you can see, this tripod is actually headless. Most mini tripods will at least have a ball head mount such as my Manfrotto one, which allows you to turn it in different angles. This headless tripod is a little bit more troublesome, but it does not mean that it's bad all the way. You can turn it sideways. You can see up close, I can actually just forcefully use turn it this way or this way. Not the full motion which a ball head gives you. So if you are planning to use this in uneven grounds, it will be quite a disadvantage compared with ones which have a ball head. So what about the pros? Obviously the pro is that it's of made of a better quality and has a more sturdier base compared with the MT54. If you are a tall person, you will definitely appreciate the height it gives you compared with other mini tripods. What's my verdict regarding the MT54? If you are using cameras such as Sony ZV-1, you will definitely love this. It can go really high up to get those nice top angle shots. And when it comes to a phone holder, there's no compromise. It's made of good quality. Then which other tripods can I look at if this is not for me? If you guys see my previous video, I actually did a review on the SK04. Now this is the tank which your camera needs. This is not just small, but it can go really high up, up to about 145cm. Just 10cm shorter than this. And not only is it 10cm shorter than this, this is only $10 more expensive. 10, 10. Such a good number. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video which I did for the MT54. If you do, do the usual and of course, do consider to support me on Patreon on top over here for as little as 10 cents a day. If you want more of these videos, do check out my playlist over here which will cover different tripod and gear reviews. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Here. Yeah.